Today on the channel, we're straight out of the dog pound with first time in the line, Mattel Elite Series 104, the dog face gremlin, Rick Steiner. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got the dog faced gremlin himself. We've got Rick Steiner. But for all your Rick Steiner needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Gotta get a deal out there. We got Rick Steiner, first time in the line here. Of course, of the fabled Steiner Brothers. We've all been wanting Steiner Brother figures for year after year after year. Basically, from the inception of Mattel, especially their Legends line. Well, the time has finally come. We're getting Rick here. We do know Scott is coming in the future, so all is going to be right in the Steiner Brothers world. But we were a little worried about this one, as Steiner did have some controversy over WrestleMania weekend. It was up in the air for a while if this figure was actually going to come out. A lot of people didn't think it would. But I got to say, obviously, it's here. They must not have found much to the... Uh, rumors, the controversy, whatever, not enough to cancel the figure and cancel Rick Steiner because uh, you think of Chief J. Strongbow, he got canceled, got removed, he was far along the process. Rick Steiner, I don't think, was as far at that point. So very interesting uh, how that all went down and transpired. We never saw video evidence of it all, so nobody almost is a uh, he said, she said thing, really, at the end of the day. So I don't know what happened with that, but I do know Rick Steiner is here, and we are going to do this review. Like we do all the other reviews on the channel, we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I would say this, uh, I think most people would agree, this is not the most iconic Rick Steiner figure of all time, but that always goes back to what we talk about, to put up the old business hat as, hey, everybody wants Rick Steiner. I would say most people, this isn't their first choice for a Rick Steiner, but this being the first time in the line, Rick Steiner, I think people are like, hey, I'm picking this one up. Yeah, it's not the one in the varsity jackets, it's not the one in the you know cool singlets, different crazy singlets, but it's a Rick Steiner. So people are going to pick this one up. We, of course, will get those Rick Steiners in the future, but that's what Mattel knows. Mattel knows if they came out of the gate with the Ultimate Edition Rick Steiner, people would buy that and say, well, I'm done with my Rick Steiners. I don't need anything from there. No, no. They're going to put this one out. They're going to dangle that carrot. They're going to wait some time to get us those varsity jacket ones. But we'll get them eventually, hopefully, and hopefully it's always a little game there. Mattel, you wait too long. All of a sudden, the Steiners aren't available anymore. We never got the Steiners in their jackets or whatever it may have been. So we'll see what happens, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot more Rick Steiner figures announced in a few weeks at San Diego Comic-Con. We'll pay attention to that. But let's take a look at the packaging. We know it. We love it. We've seen this packaging before. Elite 104, WWE logo, Elite, Elite 104. There he is, the old dog face gremlin, looking only like a dog face gremlin could look. Rick Steiner, first time in the line right down there. I'm here for that. Here's old Rick looking like a biker of some kind. I mean, really does kind of look like a biker. Throw him on a Harley and he's ready to go. Elite logo, WWE logo. On the side, Series 104, Mattel Elite, Rick Steiner, True Effects, Certified Authentic, playing all the hits on the side of the package. And then the back, got the glamour shot, you got the tail of the tape, you got the blurb, you got the big cross sell down low. Of course, we're unboxing every single one of these on the channel. Make sure you do subscribe. And eventually, we will unbox the Chase Braun Breaker, son of Rick Steiner, of course. And then we will uh, rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. So stay tuned for that as well. But let's see what it says about the old dog face gremlin himself here. Let's see. From Detroit, Michigan, absolutely beautiful this time of year, full of Little Caesars Pizza. Height 5'11", 280 pounds. Finisher, that good old Steiner line. Uh, career highlights, WWE Tag Team Champion, WCW United States Champion, WCW Tag Team Champion. In singles competition or as one half of the legendary Steiner Brothers Tag Team, the dog face gremlin always showed that if you don't like me, bite me. There you go, old Rick Steiner. And there's so many Rick Steiner looks I'd love to have. I'd love to see him part of the varsity club with that longer kind of hair with the headgear going on. 
just a ton of different Rick Steiners. Of course, the Varsity Jackets ones, all the crazy different singlet ones. There's a lot of meat on the bone for Rick Steiner figures, especially for old school NWA, WCW fans like myself that uh, really grew up on the Steiner Brothers. See you later. Rick Steiner, goodbye. And we get him in the old plastic prison. Holy cow, there's a lot going on with this one. I'm definitely here for it. I'm going to pop him out. Maybe. No twist ties on the old dog face gremlin. He's ready to get out there. He's ready to... He's ready to jump out and start partying right out of the package. And can I get these hands out? Come on. Very tight hands there. See you later. Goodbye. We're going to look at these hands first. Happy to report the dog face gremlin. He's got two fists of fury right out of the package on him, as he should. I always loved Rick Steiner's punches. I always loved Rick Steiner in general in the ring back in the day, especially when I was a kid. And then you get two gripping hands for Rick Steiner. So you get a little yin and yang here. He can grip some stuff. He can punch some stuff. He can do either. But he does have the painted on uh, tape there, the gloved kind of tape hands kind of looking going on. And then it's just uh, straight up gloves like we've seen uh, in the past or wrist tape, whatever it is. I guess wrist tape, not so much gloves. But then we get the beware of the dog. Oh, Rick Steiner is here. How about this one? Soaking it all in here. It does say beware of the dog on the jacket. You got some flames going on. The dog logo on the side. You almost got these like, uh, almost looks like a hood ornament. You got some bulldogs up here on the top on his shoulders. Quite the look right there. On the back, it does say the dog face gremlin looking great. And then both sleeves match each other, of course, like uh, we would imagine them too. Uh, how hard is it going to be to get this jacket off? I have a feeling it's going to fight me a little bit here. But you know what Rick Steiner says, if, he, if I don't like him, if you don't like me, bite me. That's what he says, and he might have to tell me that uh, in this unboxing here. It's, gosh, very hard. There we go. Got that out. But that is a big, heavy jacket, and it'll be interesting. Can they ever reuse this jacket, especially with those hood ornaments up there on the shoulders? I don't know if you can ever reuse this jacket. It's kind of like a one-and-done jacket in a lot of ways. So you can definitely know a lot of the uh, budget for this line is probably a part of the Rick Steiner figure, for good or bad, depending how you sit on it there. But it is your typical Polly Pocket style jacket. Always a little bit difficult from time to time to uh, stamp together, especially with the figure there. But definitely heavy duty, definitely a lot of detail to this one. Just a very cool leather biker jacket on old Rick Steiner there. Now we dive into Rick Steiner with the jacket off, and it uh, looks all right to me. I know some people have complained about the legs. I've heard some of that chatter online saying his legs are way too small. I, I can see him being a little bit bigger there, but it's not the end of the world. It's not a total deal killer for me by any means. Uh, but let's dive into the head sculpt on this Rick Steiner here. Now, he does have that collar around his neck here. Uh, of course, he is a dog. He needs to be walked on a leash from time to time. And we do get a headband on him that is removable. Oh, I see what they did here. Uh, I like it, but I don't like it. But we got one of those rubber bands there holding the glasses in. So this might be one of those ones where the glasses just never stay on the figure. Going to put that off to the side. Let's see how good those stay on there. Uh, they stay on all right. We'll see about that. But he does have some gold and black glasses there, and he does come with a red bandana there, of course. Uh, just repping, repping the bloods, I guess, at the end of the day. I never knew he was a gangster, but here we are. Here we are. But definitely looking cool. I just wonder, I guess maybe they stuck those in the package in case this could have fallen off. That could be the case as well. But they are removable there. The glasses are removable. The headband is removable. The dog collar is removable. The jacket's removable. The hands are removable. There's a lot of removability. There's a lot of choose your adventure, own adventure with this Rick Steiner figure. There's no doubt about it here. But the head sculpt all day long looks like Rick Steiner to me. Got kind of the later years Rick Steiner. He's a little older at this point. Got a little bit of a dye job right there in the top of his chin. Uh, in his facial hair, black throughout there. No paint issues of any kind. He's got two ears, two nose, and two eyes. A little squinty in one eye, maybe. He's got that classic Rick Steiner kind of spiky black hair going on there. Definitely very cool. Definitely cool. Then he's got his black singlet here. No, by no means one of his more iconic singlets, as we know. He had a lot of crazy colorful ones. Always loved it when he had the different colored shoes going on, the different color headgear. But that's a different era of Rick Steiner. This isn't the dog face gremlin uh, era that we're looking at, is what we're looking at right here. Does have bite me on the back of the singlet there, just in case anybody, anybody forgot. You got the big old tattoo on the arm there. A lot of color in that too. I'm here. Tattoo, I'm here for that. Articulation, arms go all the way around. You got a bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows. Hits being played here today. Hands back, forth, side to side, hands removable. You do got the wrist tape in the black and the white on both hands. Waist articulation, side to side. Big old ab crunch, of course. Got to have that. 
Big old dog face gremlin splits if he needs to jump over his doghouse. You got the thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Of course, you got black knee pads going on. You do get the boot cut, ankles, back force, side to side. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you get the Mattel stands, as I always do stay. Uh, then he's got some interesting boots here. It does say bite me. You got all kinds of flames going on. You got some dogs airbrushed on there. Definitely later day WCW era uh, Rick Steiner here. He's just looking uh, kind of a little bit lost at the time. If you remember back, you know, obviously him and, and Scott had splitting up. Steiner Brothers no more. Kind of out on his own. Feuding with Chucky. I mean, uh, Rick just definitely uh, kind of went out with a whimper, I would say, in WCW. But still an iconic look. Still remembered by me all these years later. I am definitely here for something like this. And like we said, we put our business hat on. This is probably the perfect first release for Rick Steiner. Because everybody's going to want a first time in the line figure. They're going to be all over this one. Where if this was the third or fourth Rick Steiner down the line, I could see some people maybe skipping out on this. Saying, you know, I got more iconic ones in my collection already. I don't need this dog face gremlin version of later years WCW but definitely cool I really like this I have a feeling this will be at the top of the list when we do rank Elite 104 later on uh, once we get all these do done on the channel of course but let's do some comparisons with this Rick Steiner figure of course, Rick Steiner, we had, I believe the last Rick Steiner figure we had was, of course, from Jack's Classic Superstar. And this is a very cool one. I think it's Series 9, something like that. But you got the very iconic singlet on underneath here. And then you got the varsity jacket as well. I could see if we'd ever do get Rick Steiner from a nice varsity jacket, a lot of people buying these ones, using these in place with the Mattel. Because the Jack's one would work very well on future Rick Steiner figures, I'm sure. But definitely a different era of Rick Steiner. But definitely one we need in the Mattel elite line in the future fingers crossed sooner than later hopefully san diego comic-con they announce something how cool would an ultimate tag team steiner brothers be in their varsity jackets obviously you can't put the michigan logo on there because of copyrights and stuff like that but you can make it close like this. I just think that would be an all-timer set. Possibly one of the greatest tag team sets of all time in any line if that does come to fruition. We'll keep our fingers crossed there. But a little Rick Steiner dynamic here. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, Braun Breaker, his son, is in this very same line as the Chase figure and a regular edition. And he even has this outfit on. So we'll do comparisons of that one later on when we do the Braun Breaker unboxing here on the channel. Of course, Rick Steiner, the bane of his existence at the time. We got old Chucky on. Oh, Chucky and Rick Steiner, quite the feud back in the day, as we do remember. Uh, Chucky doesn't want to stand up, and he doesn't have a hole in his feet. But we'll never forget Chucky coming out and him and Rick Steiner jacking, jaw jacking back and forth between the uh, Jumbotron, Mean Gene trying to keep it all together. One of those crazy WCW moments back in the day where there was a lot of movie cross sells, band cross sells, things like that. But we'll never forget the ultimate battle of Chucky versus Rick Steiner, never to be forgotten here. But one figure I'll never forget is this Elite 104 Rick Steiner. I'm here for it. I like it. Going to be great in my WCW shelf collection. I think this is just to the tip of the iceberg this is the beginning of the steiner overload we know we got some ultimates that are going to be coming down the line we know they'll get more elites maybe it's possibly some basics we'll see what happens but the future is pretty bright if you're a steiner brothers fan in the mattel line i think here in the future and like i said san diego comic-con right around the corner i could see some more announcements here very very soon so we'll stay tuned for those but what's your thoughts on the dog face gremlin picking this one up passing you gonna wait for another rick steiner let me know in the comments down below of course you made it this far don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some we've got even more content for you on the patreon channel and patreon of course best way to support the channel and you get early access to videos like this bonus content all the fun stuff you can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the dog face gremlin, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.